Hey y'all, um, it's Friday, so new video, vlog, um, this one is gonna be about the Disney College Program, so if you're not interested in hearing about it, then I still recommend you sit through this because it's really cool. Um, so, as some of you may know, I applied for the Disney College Program, and I was... I got past the application and I got past the web-based interview and I've been waiting patient, not so patiently um, for the past over, it's been over a week now, waiting for my phone interview and I am totally going crazy and I know it's a different kind of crazy after you've had your phone interview and you're just waiting to figure, to find out if you got in or not, but I am going crazy. I I don't know what I'm going to say in my application or in my interview. I mean, I have an idea, but I'm just freaking out about my interviewer and how he or she will approach the interview because um, I've heard a whole bunch of different conflicting things. Uh, everyone's different, and so I'm hoping I get one of someone who's happy and, you know, really energetic and helps me calm down because I will be freaking out. Um, so I have for all the people who know about it, um, you what what happens is you um, you choose like what roles you want. There's a um, thing a. Um, like a drop down menu kind of thing page that has every single role and um, you just rank which ones you want and which ones you don't based on high interest, low interest, medium interest, and no interest. Um, so um, I'm just, I my top three are probably attractions, quick service, food and beverage, and then my third one I'm pretty open uh, to what it could be. I was thinking about recreation. That would be really cool. Um, but right now I'm not really sure, which isn't good because my interview is on Tuesday. But I've still got a little time, I guess. Um, so I, I have a feeling, once I bring up the fact that I do work at Chick-fil-A, um, that's going to help my... And that that's gonna help, you know. Hopefully, my interviewer will, will see that, um, you know, I've been trained with the hospitality in mind, guest first mentality. Um, I hope my interviewer will see that because I think that kind of gives me a leg up from other people um, because I've been trained with the service oriented, um, you know, mindset, and so. I think that that would help me out with training, and I think I would be a good cast member for any role, but for quick service food and beverage, which I'm not going to say I'll probably get stuck with if I get in, but that's the role I will probably end up doing is quick service food and beverage, which I'm fine with. I mean, I think it would be cool to wear, you know, different costumes for when you're in the different areas of the park um as for what park i want to work in my fav my two favorites i'm not sure which one is which one trumps uh the next but it would be a tie between the animal kingdom and epcot um epcot was the first park i actually went to when i the only time i did go to disney it was the first day uh the first full day um before that I, we just went to downtown disney but um which is amazing, great shopping, but um, I love Epcot, I love um, the whole, everything they've got there, and then Animal Kingdom, I'm an animal person, so I, it's fantastic, so I would love to work in either of those parks, but I would be happy anywhere, um, those are just, those are just my top choices, um, why I want to do the program, um, I would love, like, I'd, 
I would just love to work at, it sounds cliche, but I would love to work at the happiest place on earth. Um, when I went there my freshman year, I, I was, you know, young and naive and whatever. I did not make the connection that, oh, there are all these college people here or college age people here. I wonder how they do that with schooling. Did not make the connection that the Disney program, exi the Disney college program existed. Um, but, um, I, I would love to be, like, when I went there, it just looked like everyone was happy and having fun, and they were, they genuinely loved their jobs, and so I just want to experience that. I mean, I like my job now. It's not, you know, it's not the best thing in the world. It's not the worst thing in the world, but, you know, the experience of working at Disney uh, just, I want to be trained on, you know, what, how they do things, because it's really second to nothing, because they're just, you know, they set the standard for service, pretty much, um, and even though I do not plan on going into a service-related industry whatsoever, I'm going to be a scientist, hopefully, you know, just to have that experience would be phenomenal, and another reason I want to do it, it's like, I, right now, I'm in, I'm in the place to do it, um, with my, I don't know, some of you guys might know this, but, um, if you read my blog, but, um, I, my college plans didn't work out, um, I was not able to go to Illinois State University, uh, for the first two years, because we just couldn't put the money together. And I was not able to go to the University of Tampa because I also couldn't put the money together. So I'm I'm not stuck. I'm at um, a community college in Florida getting residency. Um, so my tuition will be cheaper at the University of Tampa next year. And I'm not dissing community colleges. They're great. I'm at a great school. But it's not the experience that I wanted for my freshman year of college. So I'm... I want the dorm life experience, even though I'm going to get it next year. Um, and that's similar to what I would be getting at the Disney College program if I get it. And it's, like, I mean, if I miss, if I go and miss a semester, I'm still going to take uh, two or three classes there. But it's not the uh, worst thing in the world. Like, of course, when you're when you go to a bigger university or school, you're kind of more like bound in to their schedule and I'm basically semester to semester so uh you know I think that right now is the perfect time for me to do something like this and also out of state tuition for this little community college five thousand dollars a semester and that's fucking expensive and so um for a community college anyway. So, you know, going and working basically full time and, um, you know, making money and still going to school for like basically free, um, and then living r really cheap. Um, that's something that is, it really appeals to me right now in my life. So that's that. Um, Sorry, I'm playing with Buckyballs. I only get bored when I just talk, because I don't usually talk. Um, what else? I, um, crap, I lost my train of thought. I'm just really looking forward to the possibility of doing this program, because it's such a phenomenal thing that, you know, you could go and work at Disney. What kid what doesn't want to do that? And plus, Molly Johnson, if you're watching this, um, I still plan on getting an Ariel action figure and going swimming with it because of reasons. Because of reasons, okay? Ask if you must, but... Um... um but yeah, I will probably 
make another vlog. Well, I will make another vlog right after my phone interview at eight or nine a.m. on Tuesday, next Tuesday. But I will not be posting it until probably three thirty, or yeah, it's a little after three thirty because. It takes forever to lo upload onto YouTube, and I have a class, so I, I won't get home until 3.30 or 3.45. So, yeah. Um, thanks for watching, and if you got any questions, just um, let me know. Um, have a good day, and I'll see you guys on Tuesday.